Are you thinking of using AI to create your next presentation? Wait, you need to watch this first. Because AI can save you time or can destroy your presentation. The difference is in knowing how to use it. Let me explain. We've all seen headlines like AI will replace presentation designers or AI can create a perfect finished presentation in 30 seconds or less, etc. Yes, AI can create slides. But there is a huge difference between creating slides and creating impactful and memorable slides. And that's exactly what we are going to break down today. In this video, I'll share two things with you. First, I'll share the three critical mistakes in using AI for presentations that will destroy your credibility, bore your audience and expose you as unprepared. And second, I'll share the six step HATL framework to use AI in the most optimal way for your presentation creation workflow. The video is packed with actionable information, so be ready to take notes. Let's jump right in. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help you present your ideas better, whether you are on video or on stage. First, let me show you the three ways AI can wreck your presentations. The first mistake is trusting AI blindly. This is straight up a recipe for disaster. Let me give you a recent example to prove my point. In 2024, a major consulting firm had to refund a $300,000 government contract because their AI-assisted report contained phantom footnotes and fabricated case studies. Look at this. The report was for the Australian government's Department of Employment and Workplace Relations, which is DEWR. The report was found to contain errors, including non-existent academic references and a fabricated quote from a federal court judgment. No doubt AI processes information fast, far faster than any human can, but it also makes up facts. If you don't verify what AI tells you, your audience will catch the mistakes and you will lose their trust. The second mistake is using AI as an easy button instead of using it as a highly skilled intern. I see this all the time. People feel too lazy to do the thinking part for their presentations. They just let AI handle it. Realize that a presentation isn't just about slides. It is the thinking behind those slides. When you build a presentation manually, you learn the materials deeply. You make decisions. You understand the connections between the ideas. When AI does the thinking for you, you skip that mental work. And that shows. You will have no conviction in your slides when you get on stage. Even if you somehow survive the presentation, you will get exposed during your Q&A. Your argument will fall apart the moment someone asks a tough question because you never actually thought it through. Realize that AI is notorious for developing surface level logic. So if a client asks you, how did you get from point A to point C? And if the connection was generated by AI, you might realize that the logic was actually circular and worse, there is no real logic at all. The third mistake is using AI's first draft as your final draft. By design, AI pulls from patterns in millions of presentations. That means your slide deck will look like everyone else's. It will have the same structure, same phrases, and same tired analogies. You can't blame it because AI doesn't know whether you're presenting to skeptical engineers or budget conscious executives or creative directors. It doesn't know your office politics, employee culture, or internal jokes. So your audience can recognize your presentation as AI created in less than 30 seconds. If for some reason they can't, then the visuals on your slides would be a dead giveaway. AI will always suggest the most statistically average images for your slides. Want to show partnership? Then AI will suggest the picture of two people shaking hands. Want to show innovation? Then you will get the picture of a glowing bulb on someone's head. Want to show teamwork? then AI will show people putting their hands together in a circle. You see, maybe in early 2023, when AI presentations were relatively new, your audience might have tolerated such presentations. We are in 2026 now. AI fatigue is a real thing. Whether it is LinkedIn, Instagram, or YouTube, people are scrolling past the obviously AI-generated content. So when you present at a conference or a meeting, when your slides look obviously AI-generated, 
with generic imagery, formulaic structure and a lot of buzzwords, your audience will ignore you as AI slop. I'm sure you don't want that. Now that you know how not to use AI for your presentations, let's explore the right way to use it in your presentation workflow. In 2026, the right way to use AI for your high stakes presentations is to follow the human in the loop workflow or HITL workflow. What is HITL workflow? You let AI do the heavy lifting, but you stay in control to check, fix and approve every step. Let's see how to do this practically in six simple steps. Step one, start with a clear brief. Start by telling AI exactly what you need. You share the goal for your presentation. What is the one thing you want the audience to do after the last slide? You share details about your audience. What are their fears, biases and their current knowledge levels? You can even indicate the rough slide count for your presentation. For example, instead of saying write a deck about Q3, say act as a CFO, I need a 10 slide outline for a skeptical board of directors. Our revenue is up by 5% but our churn is rising. So suggest a structure that addresses the churn problem. Can you see the difference in the clarity of the instructions you provide? Step 2. Provide context and source material. If you have documents, data or specific points to cover, share them. Because when it comes to presentations, AI works best in organizing your ideas rather than making up something of its own. Step 3. Specify the narrative arc. Outline the story you want to tell. You can give something simple like Slide 1. Problem Slide 2 to 4. Three causes Slide 5. Our solution Slide 6. Results It gives AI a framework to execute against. Step 4. Generate and review Since you have given all the necessary instructions, let AI generate the initial deck. This allows you to get past the blank page and establishes the basic structure quickly. Step 5. Iterate strategically. This is the most important step. Rather than accepting the first version, refine specific elements. Say things like, make slide 3 more visual than text. Add a comparison table on slide 5. In slide 6, mention the $10,000 client we lost last month due to scheduling error. In slide 7, talk about how 40% of project updates are currently trapped in private threads causing missed deadlines. So you provide feedback which is very specific to your situation. The final step is customize the finishing touches yourself. Realize that AI gives you only 80% of the way there. You need to add the final 20%. For example, you may want to adjust the colors to match your brand exactly. Tweak spacing the elements on your slide for visual balance. Add that perfect image you found. After making the initial tweaks, verify every stat and quote. If the AI cited a 2024 McKinsey report, go find the PDF and confirm the number. Finally, check by reading your slides out loud. Do they sound like you? Add a personal story or a local reference that an AI couldn't possibly know. And if you want to develop a strong understanding of how to structure an impactful business presentation in a step-by-step -step way, then we have created a course called Ram Gopal's 10-Step Presentation Blueprint. There are tons of examples and exercises to help you learn the skill of structuring a compelling presentation. Once you have your foundation strong, you can always take it to the next level by using any of your favorite AI presentation tool. Your presentations will be significantly better. The course is useful for anyone making presentations as part of their profession. The link to the product is in the description box below. If you liked this presentation, you will really love the next video we have lined up for you called 5 Business Presentation Design Lessons from Steve Jobs. Click on the link that you see right now on your screen and watch that video next. I will see you inside that video.